Hello and welcome back to Sutton Lock. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell because it does help a small channel like mine to get noticed. So today I'm not going to decode any locks, I'm just going to talk about these locks and this whole video was inspired by this padlock. This padlock uh, has been designed for people with visual impairment so that they can get this lock uh, open easily. So to open this lock, it's got some built-in tabs on it um, and uh, you, all you do is you uh, count the number of clicks from the starting position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and the paddock opens. So, what are the pros of this? The pros of this are these, these tabs, which makes it easy to uh, move the wheels. This might be good if you've got some manual dexterity problems as well. Um, as I say, you start from the beginning. Uh, so the uh, the cons with this padlock is that uh, it's a fixed code. It's fairly easy to decode. Uh, the shackle um, is fairly narrow. It's not hardened. Um, and the shackle can only be pushed back in if you've set the code. So if you move one of these wheels accidentally, you can't get it in. And so... It, uh, it might be difficult for the visually impaired. So the next padlock uh, we've got is this uh, generic padlock. So uh, as you can see, the numbers uh, run from 1 through to 5 on the left-hand side and 6 through to 10 on the right-hand side. And to open this, you just push down the buttons. 6, 2, 5... Zero, 09 and the padlock opens so uh, what are the uh, pros of this so the, the the buttons the numbers are easy to find uh, once you know that f uh, one is at the top um, and uh, another uh, pro is believe it or not it's quite difficult to decode so the cons with this are, one is that you need to have the right code set to be able to uh, lock the shackle back up. Then you need to reset these buttons by pushing them back through, otherwise the lock stays open. Uh, the other con with this is, whilst the code is uh, 62509, I can use any variation of that, so if I use O nine six two five. Again, the padlock opens. Um, another con with this is the shackle is fairly thin. Uh, it's not hardened in any way. Uh, so that's that padlock. So this padlock. The next padlock is uh, again generic, but uh, this is the, the one that uh, I opened in video number 16, I think it was. So um, the thing I like about this is if you've got a starting position, you know, you can probably feel where the starting position is. Um, this, these wheels do have quite a loud click and a fixed position. So if you know the starting position, you can know what your code is. So it's very easy to use. Um, it's also got a, uh, a nice uh, contrast of the uh, white on black. Um, it fills the shackle, the whole body, the whole unit feels a lot more solid than uh, these two. Um, And it's got a, a user resettable code, so you can set the reset the code on these. However, for the visually impaired, 
it's quite involved because what you have to do with these to be able to decode and how to change the code is you have to pull the end cap off then you have to put the pull the wheels each wheel off and then put the wheel back on at a different position to where you want the um, code so that the code now is 008 um, as i say that could be quite difficult for the visually impaired however if you've got somebody close to you or somebody you trust, uh, they will probably be able to uh, set the code uh, up for you. So that's this lock here. Um, as I say, they're pretty used to decode, as I say in video 16, I, I, I do show that. Next uh, lock we got is the uh, master lock 1588. D. Um, again, the, the pros with this is you've got the uh, high contrast between the, uh, the black and the white. The dial here, the bezel here, does have a built-in magnifier. Magnifier. I don't know if you can see that there, but it does have a built-in magnifier, so it does make uh, the numbers a little more easier to uh, to see. It's got a nice big rubberized dial here and again if you've got any manual dexterity problems this might be um might be uh, good for you so let's see if we can get this uh, open there you go um the thing i like about this is no matter where the dial is the shackle will always go back in so that uh, that's nice um it's got a hardened shackle. Uh, so the cons for this. So the con is that it's a fixed code. The code isn't resettable. Um, the case feels like it's some kind of aluminium. Um, I don't think it will stand up to much beating. Uh, so it's very good, I would suggest, for a gym locker environment. So the next one we've got here is the Master Lock 1, also known as the Master Lock Speed Lock. And this has a button that you move up and down or left and right. Um, no code. So to reset it, push down on the shackle. Um, and as I say, it's a mixture of um, movements and the shackle opens. So the uh, the pros for this is it's um, for its size it's it's fairly lightweight. Um, it feels the same as probably the same as this, maybe a bit lighter, but as you can see, it's quite a bit heavier. Um, another thing is these are very difficult to decode, which can cause a problem. I'll go on to that. So uh, you can change the code. Uh, I believe you lift that lever up and uh, try and change the code. I haven't de changed, changed the code. Um, these come with a default code and I believe each lock has a different default code. So um, my advice to you is to use the default code because it's going to be different to anybody else's. It's got a hardened shackle. Um, and the other thing I like about this is uh, no matter what you do with this, you can put this shackle back in. So, that's fine. so what are the uh, cons of this? So the cons of this are, uh, one of them is actually how much force it needs to pull that shackle out. If you do have manual dexterity problems or strength in your arm problems, then that could cause you a problem. Uh, the other con with this uh, lock is uh, I've read online it might not be suitable for outdoor use. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what this is made of. Um, from terms of attack, I think it only provides uh, medium physical security, medium physical security. Um, and it can be difficult for someone with a uh, visual impairment to uh, set the code for this. As I say, you need to know what you're doing when you're setting the code with this. Because uh, if you get it wrong, 
it's very difficult to decode and get it open. So that's all I've got here, but I've got two honourable mentions that I'd like to talk about. The first one I'd like to talk about is the Maslock 1525EZ RC, or it could be 1525EZ RC. And whilst this isn't one, this is a uh, another master lock. But as you can see, to get this master lock open, I need to use a code of 34. Uh, 4 um, and 18 and as you can imagine if you've got any kind of visual impairment that's going to be quite difficult so the mass lock 1525 EZRC there the code is set up on primary on on uh, uh, large numbers so for example for example 30 would be one 10 would be another and 25 might be another so it's visually easier to uh, to open the other uh, lock i like to talk about is quite unusual and unfortunately quite rare um, but i believe it was actually designed for the visually impaired in mind and it doesn't have any dials as you can see and it basically works on clicks so you count the clicks so you do one two three four five six clicks then you do one two three clicks then one click then one two three four five clicks well it should do let's try that again shall we i think i've probably got the numbers wrong so one two three four five six one two three one one two one two three and it opens as i say these were mainly designed i believe for the american market um but they seem absolutely perfect for uh, anybody with any visual impairment uh, so that's the galgler that's uh, g-o-u-g-l-e-r the galgler lock so uh, thank you very much for watching. What I really appreciate is having watched this, if you know any other combination locks that would be suitable for the visually impaired, then please, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate uh, uh, reading them. So that's all I've got time for you today. That's all from Sotten Lock. Thank you very much and take care.